Good evening. Good evening and welcome. My name is Dan Palmer and I'm co-principal here at Massisquoi Valley Union. And welcome to the Massisquoi Valley Union Middle and High School graduation ceremony. On behalf of the senior class of 2023, we would like to thank you for joining us this evening for this very special night. Before we begin our ceremony, we would like to begin by having our land acknowledged. Time, I would ask that Ariana Brewer and Serenity Tavares please come up to the stage. We acknowledge that we gather at Missisquoi Valley Union Middle and High School on the traditional land of the Abenaki people, both past and present. We honor with gratitude the land itself and the people who have cared for it throughout the generations. This calls us to commit to our learning and become better caretakers of the land that we live on. Thank you, Ariana. Thank you, Serenity. We would like to point out that there was a little confusion this year on the cords. You will see um, on the, for the students that received the Abenaki program cords, they are green with black at the end. And for those students that were in early college, theirs are all green. So we just want to make sure we point that out to you this evening. At this time, I would like to introduce Julie Regenball, our superintendent of schools. students in this class who have committed to public service by joining the military. I would like you to join me in recognizing the following students who have enlisted in the Vermont Army National Guard. Connor Byers, Caden <laughs> Capsey, Callie Favreau Ward, Emin Garso, Anthony Lucier, Levi Noel, and Caleb Plouffe. Thank you very much. You can sit now. I know your teachers and families are very proud of the commitments that you've made. So now we're going to continue this wonderful task with a performance by the NDU Senior Band on Footloose.
At this time, I would like to introduce the senior class president, Eleanor McGuire.
Blaney's moved and lived in New York City, and then in 2001, he decided to move to Los Angeles to start a screenwriting career. From there, he helped develop movies we grew up watching within the Walt Disney Writers Program. Movies such as Beverly Hills Chihuahua, Big Hero 6, Wreck-It Ralph, and Frozen. Following that, he moved to Paramount Animation, Big Hero Shed, with Oscar-winning animation director, John Mars. Mr. Hegemer later collaborated on the currently acclaimed Google Spotlight VR short film, Age of Sale, which went on to be shortlisted for an Oscar. Blaze's adaptation of the beloved children's book, Clifford the Big Red Dog, became the most watched program in the history of Paramount Plus. On top of all of that, he is also a playwright, writer slash producer, guest lecturer at the University of Southern California Film School, and a published author and illustrated anthology of ghost stories. It is our great privilege and pleasure to welcome back to Mr. Soy Jim, Mr. Blaze Hemingway. I don't care if you want to be a farmer or an astronaut, an 
artist or an engineer, a soldier or heavens forbid, a Hollywood screenwriter, your ability to articulate who you are, what made you who you are, where you came from, and what you want is an essential life skill. But it's not just about career. Story is also how you build relationships, friendships, find love, and provide mentorship to other people. In order to relate, connect, and communicate with the world around you, you must be able to tell people who you are. You must be able to tell your story and help others understand what makes you tick and help them find points of connection with you. For example, every one of you in this room right now that's graduating today, you have at least one point of connection with me. We are all graduates of the same high school. We all come from this uh, wonderful place called Franklin County in this corner of the state in the United States of America. If and when our paths ever cross again, anywhere in the world, this fact is going to connect us and provide us an opportunity to bond with one another and to share one another's stories. So, I want, uh, so what I want every one of you to do is the following 10 things. Don't worry, it's going to be short. Um, number one, I want you to figure out what your story is, each one of you. Sure, your story is not being done, it isn't done being told any more than my story or anyone else's story in this place is done being told. If you're still breathing, your story is still being told. Never forget that. But I digress. What I'm saying is figure out what your story is up to now. Number two, learn how to tell your story in an efficient way. I don't remember who my commencement speaker was, but I remember that he spoke too long. I won't do that the same. Um, even if you don't like uh, what I have to say today, or if you're checking your socials instead of listening, you're not. At least the speech won't be long. So keep in mind, a good story isn't necessarily a long one. More often than not, short and sweet, and encapsulates the spirits of your 18 or 36 or 106 years on Earth without telling every single detail. In that same spirit, number three, make your story interesting and engaging. There's nothing worse than a boring story. Don't lie. But, you know, man, you know, amplify the good parts and minimize the uneventful ones. Surviving a plane crash? Interesting. Making a bologna sandwich? Less interesting. Number four, know your audience. You don't always uh, tell your story the same way to everyone you meet. The goal is for your story to be heard and to be understood. For example, the way that you tell your life story to, say, like, your college roommate, it's probably going to be a little different from how you tell your life story to your, your future employer. However, the ability to distill and synthesize who you are, where you came from, and, and what you want is going to help you uh, help your audience feel and relate to the experiences that define you. Number five, constantly update and rework your story. Storytelling is all about honing your story, making it better. Writing is all about rewriting. Most of the time, my first draft of anything is awful. So with that in mind, keep working on and revising how you tell your personal story. It might take a long time to figure out where you can knock it out of the park on your first attempt. Number six, know that your story, every single one of you, know that your story is always being told. There is no end to your story. It's always growing, it's always evolving. Movies all follow what we call a three-act structure, right? Act one is all about establishing your hero and the problem or challenge that you're gonna overcome. Act two is about taking that hero on their journey where they're gonna do battle with whatever that challenge is. And right when it seems that they're never going to win the day, that's when Act 3 comes along and the hero takes everything that they've learned to triumph over the impossible. Graduates, good news. You're still in Act 1. Your story is just starting to get good. You're going to find your lead character. Spoiler alert, it's you. And you're getting ready to send yourself on a quest that will challenge and define yourself. And speaking of quests, number 7. Remember that you are the hero of your own story. No matter if you're rich or or graduating on the top of your class or the bottom, not into the best college, or said, you know what, college isn't for me. Whatever it is, you are, each one of you, heroes in an epic story that you will spend in the next century of your lifetime. Number eight, this is important, never let someone else tell your story. You need to be the one who determines the quest that your hero goes on. If you have a passion, go chase it, study it, work hard, get those 10,000 hours of practice that Malcolm Gladwell tells us that we need in order to ever be able to master something. The heroes that we all love in our stories, they earn the thing they achieve. They overcome whatever it is that stands in their way because all good heroes are underdogs. So, I would also encourage each one of you, number nine, be the underdog of your own story. Be the person that the world underestimated. The person who has untapped potential or didn't have the advantages that others have. I don't get it twisted. I don't say this that you complain 
can complain about what you don't have. I say it so that in your story, you always remember the limitations that you overcame to find success, fulfillment, and happiness. And lastly, number 10. See, I told you it would be long. Number 10, lead your hero to find success, fulfillment, and happiness. And those three things are not destinations that you will reach or a happy ending that you will arrive to. They are the things that you will constantly have to earn in the same way that you are constantly telling the story in which you, every single one of you graduated today, is the hero. And that MVU class of 23, 2023, is what I wish for you more than anything. An exciting story that makes each of you fulfilled and happy. How you define your hero's success, that is up to you. You need to decide that for yourselves. I want to thank everyone for their time today. I want to thank you for inviting me. Graduates, welcome to your second act. Congratulations to MBU class of 2023. Thank you.
At this time, I would like to welcome with the senior class address, Madison Ugaia.
or that having the perfect spin was made possible through hours of work off the team. Being as intelligent as Einstein did not seem so far out there when your, or when hours of studying were put in. As long as you were willing to put in the work necessary, the world is yours. As we encounter hardships in the next phase of our lives, I hope that each and every one of you applies the skills that you have learned here. When you encounter obstacles in college, I hope that you employ the perseverance that Mrs. Tillotson developed in you during your time taking AP Calculus. When you're experiencing a difficult task in trade school, remember Mr. Varga and the critical thinking skills that he taught you during your science class. When you deal with a disappointed coworker at work, use the same interpersonal skills that Mrs. Pandas conveyed to you during your sophomore year. If you remember the lessons that truly matter, the world is yours. The past four years of our lives have given us every tool that is necessary for success. Use them, apply them, and nurture them so that you can flourish. Only you have the power to make your dreams a reality. Thank you.
Marie Bailey. David Tyler Ball. Will Conrad Barr. Jared Joseph Oregar. Johanna Nicole Benoit. Camden Paul Bertrand. Hannah Charity Bertrand. Carson Michael Bassett. Ariana Michelle Brewer. Erica Ann Broderick. <laughs> Melody Lynn Marie Buskey. <laughs> Connor Bradley Byers. <laughs> Eli. James Calhoun. Aiden Taylor Cassie. Jacob Edwin Chandler. Thomas J. Cobb. Stuart Colby. Aiden Gabriel Scott Costello. Brady D. Preller. Nicholas A. Preller. James Benedict Romero Kulala. Andrew Skyler Defoe. Desiree May DeVos. Taylor Patrick Desitel. Xavier Anthony Dion. Bryce Alexander DiPietro. Aiden James Dixon. Jordan J. Dragon Velez. Trinity Duncan. Cheyenne May Eli. Justin Robert Farnham. Ellen Fabra Ward. Hunter A. Fiorini. Brendan K. Fortin.
Keely Grace Fournier. Raymond Adamar Fournier. Garrett Joseph Frejo. Morgan Jennifer Freeman. Grace Lillian Gallagher. Emin Garso. Cameron Joseph Gardner. Audrey Nicole Goodview. Ellie Megan Gregory. Madison Elizabeth Gett. Seth Michael Hall. Sadie Lee Hemingway. Ava Ann Hubbard. Lucas Edward Kelly. Deacon Isaac Kelly. Ethan Lewis Penny. Jacob Andrew King. <laughs> Lindsay E. Lombard. <laughs> Caden LaPlante. <laughs> Dalton Michael LaPlante. Maya Lorraine May Larrabee. Camden Jacob Longway. Kira Lynn Longway. Alexia Lisa Longtime. Anthony Stephen Thomas Lucier. Sophia Marie Lucier. Javen Xander Nasia. <laughs> Eleanor Ann McGuire. <laughs> Brandon M. Mary Muir. <laughs> Carson Ernest Maswell. Darika E. Matthew. <laughs> oh.
Connor Philip Menard. Ethan Michael Messier. Wade Bennett Messier. Blake Anthony Minier. Connor Nelson Mitchell. Avery A. Morris. Haley May Mulherin. Erica Taylor Nichols. Connor John Nielsen. Levi Joseph Noel. Hayden Ryan Oates. Daniel P. Oren Ilara. Jordan A. Lovett. Brennan C. Pandas. Brandy James Meredith. Destiny Ray Pigeon. Caleb Curtis Bluff. Elijah Daniel Moore. Caden Michael Pratt. Haley K. Quinton Barrett. Nicholas James Racine. Abigail Ann Raleigh. Jenna M. Randall. Tamara Lynn Redman. Cassandra R. Reynolds. Shane Allen Robtoy. Avery Delane Ross. Hunter Russo. Carl Allen Royer. Brian Keith Sartwell. Madeline Kimberly Saunders.
Kira Marie Schaefer. Sean Christopher Shepard. Caleb Thomas Surprise. Serenity Paige Tavares. Alexandra Marie Thompson. Caleb Joseph Underwood. Malachi Lowe Unwin Jackson. Aiden Michael Value. Richard R. Velez. Mackenzie Rose Vincent. Cody Walk. Jordan Avery Wells. Sean A. Wells. Austin David Whitney. Aiden C. Wyman. Congratulations. At this time, we call on our admirer who is over the stage.